beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time here you're welcome and please remember to join the family by clicking on the subscribe button um if you are a returning subscriber you're welcome as well and i hope you enjoyed this video so um the video i'm gonna be doing today is basically um the cost of living in kiev ukraine so let's just say the cost of living in ukraine but i live in kiev so i'm gonna be giving you guys the details based on where i live which is kiev so i've been living in kiev for the past three years and sincerely i am gonna be realistic with you guys i don't know about you i don't know about other people but compared to the previous place i was living in kiev is quite expensive so i'm gonna be giving you guys a breakdown of how much um i spend or how much you can actually budget if you want to live in kiev to be able to live like a very comfortable life for a month so um i wrote down some list of of things that um i'm gonna be talking about because i don't want to forget anything so i wrote them down for us to be able to speak about them one after the other so from the list i have here i wrote down um let's say six six different things that can actually make you spend a lot here in all are the necessary things that you need to spend on living in key so the first thing is the house rent sincerely i'm gonna be realistic with you guys house rent in kiev is actually on high side yes so it's on high side so it depends on the type of house you want to live in there are different types of houses believe me and if you want at the at the end of the day you can decide to live with other people to be able to share um the house rent and whatnot but then for like a normal house that you can get not necessarily in the center of Kiev, maybe a little bit outskirts of of Kiev. you can actually get an apartment ranging from 250 to 350 dollars per month so again as i told you not in the center of Kiev, not really in town so you can get apartments there let's say for around from 250 to 350 dollars so let's keep it on an average 300 dollars for house rent so you can get like a really nice apartment for 300 us dollars that's if you're staying alone but if you want to stay with somebody you can actually um get a two-room apartment um, that goes for um 400 us dollars and you can split the bill with the person or split the house rent with the person that you are living with that way you will be able to at least pay less yeah so that is it for the house rent but if you want to live in in the center of Kiev, there are houses that you can pay 400 dollars you can live alone there there are houses you can pay 500 us dollars so it all depends on um your pocket yeah basically so it all depends on your pocket so that's number one so the average let's say the average house rent that you can um pay to live in kiev comfortably is 300 us dollars yeah so that's the first one then um the second one is utility bills like your your bill water um light gas and the rest of them so i estimated let's say they're about 45 to 50 us dollars every month so uh, because in ukraine you have to pay like monthly to pay your utility bill every month not just your utility bill even the house rent you have to pay your house rent every month then the utility bill as well it comes with the house rent every month when you're paying you have to pay your utility bill as well and the utility bill includes um your light it includes the gas it includes water in some areas it even includes security like for example where i live i pay for security yeah because i live in an estate so i pay like let's say they're about ten dollars yes i pay ten dollars every month for security which i feel is ridiculously expensive like if you're collecting like ten dollars from everybody in the estate it's a huge amount of money but then again you have to pay it because that's the rule so if you want to live there you have to abide by the rule you also we also have like the internet you have to pay for internet you have to pay for the doorbell you have to pay for like different things so in total i came to a conclusion that um i pay there about 45 to 50 us dollars monthly for utility bill 
yes so that's it so let's say for house rent and utility bill you can budget 350 us dollars every month and you're gonna live like very comfortable so the next thing is transportation believe me there are different means of transportation in Kiev, but the most popular ones that we all know everybody knows is um taxi we have uh, buses that you can use we have the metro which is subway so it depends you know people are different some people feel like they can use buses or they can use the subway maybe because they feel like um it's it's not just their thing some people can literally use all distance they can use bus and so from my own point of view i don't feel it's necessary to use cab every day every day and moreover using cab has its advantage and disadvantage especially in kiev here when you're using cab you have to get ready like an hour before the time you're leaving the house because to get cab is a problem to traffic again and the rest of them and cabs are ridiculously expensive in kiev so if you have the money okay no problem and if you have the time to actually wake up maybe every day an hour earlier before your appointment or your work time or your school time then cab will be good for you but believe me cab is ridiculously expensive in key so i wouldn't advise anybody to actually um, use cab regularly you can use it once in a while but not like every day you use cab every day believe me at the end of the day you'll run short of money i don't know your pocket but if you have a lot of money bring it on you can use your cab every day it's not a problem so uh, another means of transportation is the bus bus i think is one of the most popular yeah when i say the most popular people use bus like i think the bus has um you can use the bus more like it will take you to more destinations more than any other kind of transportation apart from the taxi so the buses they're different um buses that you can actually use to your various destination buses are quite affordable they're pocket friendly um okay the problem with traffic as well yes but like um here in kiev the buses they have their own um, route so most times there, there are not a lot of traffic on the bus um lane but still at the end of the day you know the way people break rules um uh, normal cars they go into the like bus lane and they cause traffic so still with bus you might not really get to your destination yes on time but it's very very affordable it's something you can actually um put a budget to and work towards it till the end of the month so um and another thing again we have is the metro the metro is the most reliable means of transportation in Kiev. is fast is inexpensive and yeah so i feel like metros for me i would choose metros and buses any day any day anytime i'm not a fan of taxi not that i do not use taxis i use taxis but like there was a time i made up my mind to actually use taxi every day to work in school and it didn't go well for almost two weeks i was frustrated because i was always going to work late i was always going to school late and it's just so frustrating because of the traffic so i personally i would choose the bus and the the metro life and again it's quite affordable so this is the breakdown of it um just keep 100 us dollars keep 100 us dollars for transportation not necessarily if that's if you're gonna be using taxi you're gonna be using metro you're gonna be using buses at the end of the day so the budget is 100 us dollars so for transportation let's say 100 us dollars in a month because there are times you would want to use taxi there are times that you have to use metro there are times that you have to use buses so at the end of the day um you can budget 100 us dollars i think that should do if you have your your change at the end of the month it's a good idea but if you don't then 100 us dollars is good for a whole month so the next thing we're going to be talking about is um cleaning items and toiletries so um Cleaning items and toiletries um, are 
essential in a home obviously so in a month you can budget 25 dollars because i personally i don't clean my house every day i don't clean my house every day because i live alone so my house is not usually very messy so i clean just once a week in 25 dollars for toiletries and cleaning equipment in the house tissue toothpaste and the rest of them 25 um, dollars even though all these things they don't finish like in a month sometimes you can buy and it will take you for like two months sometimes it will take you for just two months and that's it but then again i put in 25 dollars for toiletries and and cleaning items then um the next thing we're going to be talking about is groceries it's very important everybody knows every household needs groceries yes so i put in 100 us dollars for groceries yes so i put in 100 us dollars for groceries for a month because what are you possibly buying like it, you're just buying a few things for yourself you live alone so definitely you shouldn't have to like buy a lot of things so i think 100 us dollars is okay for you to buy beverages for you to buy drinks in the house for you to buy cooking items so i think 100 us dollars is okay and moreover if you don't stay at at home um frequently just like me i think 100 us dollars is perfect because most times like i go to school after school i go to work then i come back home late at night so you don't necessarily like need a lot of food or a lot of groceries in the house so yeah that's it so 100 us dollars for food and groceries we have a um, gym if you don't work out then this is probably not for you but i pay 35 dollars every month um for my gym so yeah that's basically it so if you don't work out then you do not have to put this in your budget but i do so 35 us dollars for my gym then um the last thing i'm going to be talking about is miscellaneous um miscellaneous is is actually anything extra that you do like for example maybe you go into a shop you see a nice shoe you want to buy it's miscellaneous believe me because you don't need it so that and as well as maybe um when you're in school lunch break you buy some um something to eat for lunch or maybe at work or random stuff that you buy those are miscellaneous so i put in 200 us dollars i put in 200 us dollars for miscellaneous because you know sometimes you just spend and you don't even know the money is going so 200 us dollars for miscellaneous so that's basically it so i'm gonna list out everything one after the other again for you guys to have an idea of the important things that you actually need to um, pay for when living in, in kiev or living in ukraine or if you're planning to come to ukraine you're planning to come to kiev these are the things that you they are the basic things that you need to actually pay for so the first thing is house rent and from my own budget i put in 300 us dollars for house rent the second thing is um utility bill um of which i put 50 dollars i put an estimate of 50 dollars every month which is quite okay as well sometimes you can pay a little less or you can pay a little more so i just put it on the on 50 dollars then the next thing is transportation um and i told you guys there are different means of transportation here so if if you're going to be combining all of them which is the taxi the bus and the metro then 100 us dollars should do for you to actually transport yourself for a whole month then the next thing is actually um food and groceries i put in 100 us dollars because i hardly i hardly stay at home so i don't really eat much at home so that's the reason 100 us dollars should do for you to buy the necessary things food stores and groceries that you need in your house then the next thing is cleaning and toiletries so cleaning equipment and toiletries this is not something that you actually buy every month it's not a constant thing but it's something that is needed in the house and you need to buy them once in a while but i put a budget of 25 dollars every month to spend on that then the next thing is my gym because i go to the gym so i pay like 35 dollars i put in 35 dollars for my gym every month and the next thing is miscellaneous miscellaneous are just extra things 
that you just spend money on and i put in 200 us dollars as the miscellaneous so now let's calculate how much is the budget for a whole month so we have house rent 300 plus bill 550 that is 350 plus transportation 100 that's 450 plus cleaning um cleaning equipment and toiletries 25 that is a total of 475 then plus gym 35 dollars which is 510 dollars with um groceries which is 100 that's 610 dollars and we have miscellaneous 200 which is 810 dollars so this is not our a small amount of money to me though is not a small amount of money because like at the end of the day if you look at it how much do you make that you're spending that amount of money every month but yeah that's the reason why you're, you're living in the city capital or in the country's capital so kiev is actually very very expensive and i'm making this video to just create awareness for people in case you want to come to kiev this is what you should be expecting and um, if you're going to be coming from other countries or you're going to be coming from nigeria this is what you should be expecting but believe me you can decide to, to spend less yeah there are different ways that you can actually um, spend less by living with people constantly using the metro or the bus uh, there are so many things in fact there are so many things you can decide to break down your expenses and whatnot to help you pay less i know of people that spend 500 us dollars in the month and they live comfortably so it all depends on you it all depends on your budget it all depends on how much you have for you to be able to um, sustain yourself and to be able to live comfortable so yeah this is the end of my video i hope this video was helpful i hope um you enjoyed this video if you like this type of videos you can comment down below and i will try to do more of this type of videos so thank you so much and yes don't forget to do all the necessary things you do on here subscribe like comment share with your friends to see and yeah thank you so much we're trying so hard to hit 1000 subscribers before the end of the year so please guys please guys help me share and yes thank you so much for stopping by and i'll see you guys in my next video bye